You know, sometimes life gives us the best analogies, and uh, my sister and pump went out this week, and uh, we looked through all the preliminary stuff and couldn't uh, find anything, but the pump kept shutting down. And I had to call the professionals, which is an expensive uh, call. And after they put the tester on, said my uh, line between the cistern and the house had a short in it. After I got thinking about that, I realized, hey, there had been a time where we had a backhoe in here and he scraped the line. And uh, we had to jump down in the ditch and fix it. And he said, oh, this is going to be fine. And something in my gut told me, uh, no, that wasn't as good as it could be. And sure enough, a couple of years later, uh, the water has seeped into that joint and, uh, and messed, us, messed that short up. And so sometimes the Bible talks about uh, these an analogies. And I first want to show you uh, the hole. See about four or five feet down, uh, had to re-splice. And there's the old uh, connector with all the uh, silicone bunched up on there. And sooner or later, that water got in and shorted it out. And that's what you get. So today we're going to re-splice it uh, correctly and uh, rebury it. You know, but that brings up an analogy that um, uh, principle in Scripture says, Behold, your sin will find you out. Israel was standing at the promised land the second time, 40 years after the first uh, time they came to the crossing of the Jordan. And because of fear and unbelief, they spent 40 years wandering in the wilderness. And God was warning them the second time and said, If you hearken unto me, I will bless you and give you the land. Uh, but if you do not, behold, your sin will find you out. It's the same that Paul said in Galatians chapter 5 and 6. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. He that sows to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. He that sows the spirit of the of the spirit shall reap life everlasting. Who shall reap abundant life? And this analogy is true. And sometimes we try to do shortcuts. Sometimes we we cater into the flesh. Sometimes we do what's easy or what we crave or, or a, a desire that's not exactly God, godly and uh, and it's not exactly within the boundaries of what God wants us to do. And so here we are fixing uh, something. I took a shortcut <clears throat> years ago, and behold, it found me out. And uh, that's happened so many times. And uh, anymore, the older I get, I realize, let's just do it right the first time. Let's just walk in obedience with the Lord right from the get-go. Because uh, I don't know about you, but I want a harvest. I want a blessing. I want the grace harvest. I want life everlasting, life more abundantly. And uh, when we sow to the flesh, where are the flesh going to reap corruption? It's going to short circuit. Remind me of the child who stole mom's uh, watermelon that she had for a picnic and took it out in the yard and uh, behind the tree, ate the whole thing, spit all the seeds out and uh, threw them uh, on the side of the yard. And little did he know later on that summer that the watermelon plant shot up and mom could see it. You know, um, I want to encourage you today, walk in obedience and expect the harvest of blessing and grace. But if you're taking shortcuts and uh, compromising in your attitudes and your thoughts, it's going to short circuit. It's not God. It's not God knows and God may not expose it right away, but the harvest will come and you'll be reaping some bad fruit. And uh, you wonder where those attitudes come from and some of the judgmental attitudes from others. Well, they were, they were sown by you years ago. Don't take shortcuts. Walk in obedience with the Lord and uh, be blessed today. He wants to bless you, but you have to uh, walk and sow seeds of kindness and compassion and discernment and obedience and uh, these are fruits of the Spirit, and the Spirit of God will partner with you and help you do that. So cut off the deeds of the flesh. Uh, we are crucified with Christ. And uh, so remember that the sin is broken. You are set free from the penalty and the power of sin. And now sow in righteousness and reap a beautiful harvest 
may not be short term, it may be longer term, but you will reap a harvest. God guaranteed it. Be not weary in well doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Remember that, brothers and sisters, and be blessed today.